Welcome to the Stray People Awards. I'm your host, Missy. And as someone who has been part of the Stray community for 26 years, and as someone who has gone viral multiple times for making fun of Stray People, I wanted to gather all of us here today so we can celebrate the most beautiful, classic, just Stray People moments of all time. Oh, I was just notified that we actually have last year's winner in the crowd with us. Everyone, can we get a round of applause for the woman that made a popsicle out of her pregnancy test and then fed it to her boyfriend? Oh, so poised, so straight. I'm, I truly am a big fan. Thank you for being here today. So without further ado, let's get started. Missy in the studio, back to you. Oh, you gotta love it, you gotta love it. Thank you, Red Carpet Missy. So before we get into our nominees, let's go through tonight's categories of straight people. The first one being your yeah. standard straight person, right? So this is the kind of person um, that loves Twilight. Maybe they read Twilight for substance. I also wrote the guy that calls his apartment the bachelor pad. That's pretty self-explanatory. Tier two is what I like to call pretty straight. The mascot for being a pretty straight person is Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly. These are the people that post about their relationship every single day. Lastly, I have if you enjoy or you create fanfic about the following people. The Property Brothers, Loki, or Lucius Malfoy. And lastly, the tier one, the ultimate straightest of the straight people, okay? is if you do pregnancy announcements. I'm not saying by any means that like, you can't actually go out and announce your pregnancy. I mean, I think it's actually very wholesome when people do normal pregnancy announcements. But the pregnancy announcements I'm talking about are the ones that are toe clenching, earth shattering, Ariana Grande positions album type of nasty, nasty pregnancy announcements, okay? like. I'm not even gonna keep explaining this. Let's just let's just get into the evidence. Okay, close your eyes and imagine the year 2020. COVID just hit. There was so much uncertainty going on and people were scared to even leave their house. The sorority girls and house moms can't go to Applebee's on Friday and complain about their husbands while drinking bottomless mimosas. Like the world was so uncertain. But what was certain is that straight people were going to have Thanos snapping, booty clapping, yes. and then tell everybody about it on Facebook. I tested positive, but not for COVID. My boobs are about to get even more amazing. Oh my God. I'm lit I literally think I tested positive from reading these pregnancy announcements. Well played, quarantine. Well played. Product of quarantine and chill. Get it? Because it's like Netflix and chill but like quarantine and chill, like they had because they were in quarantine and probably watching Netflix. Love is in stock. Number six will be coming out of quarantine, January 2021. You guys get this one too, because like toilet paper was not in stock, but what they did have in stock and plentiful was like straight people's baby number six. Damn, 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 damn. this economy. Oh my God. I mean, what better of announcing your child's birth than to remind everyone that you are one of the people that hoarded all the toilet paper in 2020. My ass has PTSD from the amount of disgusting, hard, single ply toilet paper I had to use because this bitch wanted to, you know, hoard all of the toilet paper to announce her pregnancy announcement. Mom and dad thought they had all the protection they needed. Ew. Why? We use protection. Sometimes. Mom and dad couldn't stay six feet apart. Social distancing fail. Out of quarantine January 2021. I don't know. I just feel like if you guys are going to advertise like your, that you guys had during quarantine, like why not go all out? Mom and dad couldn't stay six feet apart. So daddy stayed at six inches inside. Unexpected item in bagging area. Daddy and the vaccine says something in common. We both took 30 seconds and left mommy really sore after. The vaccines weren't the only questionable liquids I got injected with this year. But honestly, like I feel so bad for the kids that are gonna have to grow up 
and they're going to see that their parents announced their birth with a nasty COVID pregnancy announcement, okay? Like, this is literally going to be their anime backstory. My father was married to a millennial Facebook mom. And one night, they decided to put a nasty COVID-related pregnancy announcement on Facebook. Why? So disgusting. <laughs> okay, that was more like Voldemort, but you know, you guys get my point. Okay, so now that you guys have seen some examples of these nasty pregnancy announcements, um, I wanna get into my favorite types of disgusting, nasty pregnancy announcements, which I like to call kind of like the occupational pregnancy announcements, like the ones where they kind of do a pregnancy announcement revolving around like their job or like household chores, you know, like the everyday type thing. A lot of you guys have DM'd me this picture. <laughs> Let me just explain. I know there's a lot going on in this picture. We got this girl that looks like every single girl in my DMs, like trying to recruit me into her pyramid scheme on Facebook um, in this cow breeder machine. Okay, I looked it up. It is a cow breeder machine. Okay, and then we got her husband over here who I assume his name is uh, Tater. Um, and Tater's got elbow high plastic gloves because God knows why you would need that for your own wife. And then he's got a sign that says bread. Cause you know how like, you know, he like breeds cows. He also like bred his wife. You guys get it? Oh my God. Like, I just don't understand like why we need to relate a woman being pregnant to breeding farm animals. Like what the f I pick my men like I pick my cattle. The one with the biggest meat, bitch. I love cows, but the only meat that I've been swallowing raw is daddy's meat. You know what's really funny about this is that I know so many straight people that are so offended by Ram Ranch, like the song Ram Ranch. 18 naked cowboys in the showers at Ram Ranch. But they have no problem typing up this, you know, MLM formatted, work cited page, like scholarly article researched paragraph about how their husband cream pied them three months ago. This is literally Ram Ranch, but for straight people. Oh my God, you guys, it literally is. <laughs> One basic bitch in a pyramid scheme. One dude probably named Tyler that day drinks at Applebee's in the showers together at Ram Ranch. <laughs> Two straight people doing missionary for 20 seconds at Ram Ranch. Dude giving his wife two pumps. Ram Ranch really rocks. Next up we have the truck drivers. The truck driving community literally has the most gruesome, nasty pregnancy announcements and there are so many of them. Daddy delivered his load. I'm proof daddy isn't trucking all the time. That's how I feel about that. Yeah, I guess daddy isn't always trucking. He spends some time pegging your mom from behind. <laughs> Dad delivered his load. Mom, load received. And again, another daddy isn't trucking all the time onesie. Oh my God. How much load is he really delivering? I mean like, damn. You guys are making it seem like he's like delivering a gallon of cum every single time that he, you know, puts his 18 wheeler inside of his of his wife. You know what I mean? Like, damn. Okay, this one doesn't have any words, but like, what the f Bro, are you getting knocked up by Artemis Prime? Ar 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 Artemis? Artemis Prime? I don't fucking know, okay? It's been like 15 years since I've seen those movies. I guess the only thing he's good at pulling out is vehicles. We got some police themed pregnancy announcements because what makes people love their local cops more than letting them know that they too can plow their wives after work. Just girly thingies, you know, just so relatable. I'm proof that mommy can't resist daddy in uniform. But we got, instead of getting locked up, we got knocked up. Oh my God. 
God, I'm literally getting heart palpitations from like reading these. Like I've been doing this for too long. The only person I've been shooting up is mommy. Is that too far? Too far? Okay, too far. And for my, one of my favorite types of pregnancy announcements is the cooking slash like home chores type of pregnancy announcements. Baby recipe, preheat to 98.6, add one egg, mix and love, set timer to nine months. Baby Campbell, done cooking March, 2022. <sighs> that one was not even that bad, okay? We got recipe for baby. One cup of mommy, three pumps, daddy, mixed with love, bake until July. What? Okay, but also, girl, three pumps? Three pumps? I mean, what is that, like 10 seconds max? Honestly, I don't even know if like she's just trolling him or if, she, if I should actually legitimately feel sorry for this girl. We're baking a bun in the oven and it only took two inches of nasty, salty bread in 20 seconds. Welcome to the world. If I was trolling my husband, that's what I would say. So another type of pregnancy announcement that I've been seeing a lot is like these TV slash movie themed ones, you know? Let, let, let me just show you. So we got this Handmaid's Tale themed pregnancy announcement because you know, there's nothing better than announcing the birth of your child than imagery of a show where women are breeding machines and have no rights. Got it. We solemnly swear we've been up to no good. The magic begins November, 2020. Wow, the magic begins. I feel like the magic began when you guys had nasty, toe-clenching, teeth-chattering sex nine months ago, but you know. Expect the unexpected. Yeah, I was not expecting this. I um, This is one of the weirdest pictures I have ever seen. Oh, Sith, I am your father. Big brother, I will be. Honestly, if I were the kids that were in this pregnancy announcement right now, I feel like they're gonna grow up to be part of the Sith. The force is strong with this one, coming January 2017. Yeah, I bet the D is strong in this one. Boink. <laughs> and we also got this one here. The dad has, I gave her the D. And then she has proof of the D. Yeah, I bet the kids loved reading that one on their way to go see Cinderella. <laughs> The magic carpet isn't the only thing I've been riding on this year. Someday my prince will come. But this one already did. I literally think I have found the nastiest, grossest pregnancy announcement I have ever seen. My gag reflex game strong, okay? Like I have seen so many pregnancy announcements in my days. There was one picture, you know, that I saw when I was doing research for this video that really just, oh. Let me just show you. Made in for China. <laughs> Bro, this is gonna end up on Fox News. I swear to God. Breaking news, China already makes our phones, computers, and everyday objects. And now they're trying to make bag tossing playing. Sandlot watching, Macy dog parade watching, white babies? No! Okay, so I know I opened up this video saying like, oh my God, this is gonna be Straight People Awards, but I haven't given out any awards. This one wins, okay? Everybody, let's clap our hands for the winner of the most straight people type thing you could ever possibly do. I just, I just miss the days when we just got online and people just announced their pregnancy like normal people. Whatever happened to just saying like, oh my God, we're expecting our first child May 2021 or whatever the people used to say. When, when was it a dick measuring contest to make sure that we let everyone know, okay? Our grandma, our parents, everyone that you bullied in high school. When, when did it become a competition to let all those people know that you got cream pie multiple times three months ago and now you're knocked up. I mean, like, I just... 
Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys are interested in pregnancy announcements, I have a series, like I did so many of these, um, on my TikTok channel, which will be linked below. Please like and subscribe so I can keep making these videos. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.